Alright. The Kutta Allah is Dalit. We are continuing with the story of my son about Philo. So the hero spoke with the king about that, about America, about Obama. They felt that they have a deserve of money. And he told to the king, you know, I heard from you that through the road that I have to the sword, this is how you can take somebody who was sunk into the, the vice of greed. And the king said, yes, that's the way it is. So the king says to the giver, now, you should be aware, however, in the way, on the road that leads to the sword, there is a side road. And through this side road, you come to a mountain of fire. And on that mountain, there crouches a lion. And this lion, when it needs to eat, it goes and it, fa it, it falls on, on, uh, on herds of cattle, whatever it is, and it takes, you know, it takes whatever it wants and it eats. Now the shepherds, they know of this, so they, they guard the, 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 the cattle very much from it, but the lion doesn't care. He wants to eat, he comes, he takes and the, 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 the the, 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 the shepherds, they make noise, they hit, whatever it is. The lion doesn't hear the whole thing. He just takes whatever it wants and goes. And says, and this mountain of fire is totally invisible. And from the side is also another road. And this road, it comes to a place that it comes to a kitchen where food is being cooked. And in that kitchen, says there's all kinds of foods there. And in this, this kitchen, there's no fire whatsoever. The, the, so how does the food cook? It cooks from the fire, from the heat of the mountain of fire. Now, the mountain of fire is very, very far. He says, but there are like tunnels and, 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 and like, like meridians, like pipes from the mountain of fire to the, to the kitchen. And there, all these foods are being cooked. And this kitchen is also totally invisible. Only what? There's a simon, there's a sign that you should know this with the because there are, there are, birds on top of that kitchen. So that's how you know that it is there. And these birds, they keep on flapping their wings. And with their wings, this is how they control the height of the flames. You know, they put it up, they put it down. And so it shouldn't be too much. Because certain foods need that heat, and certain foods need that heat. So this is this is what for the birds do. This is what so you should take these people that fell into the Avodah Zara to the idol worshiping of greed of money. First of all, you walk them against the wind. So then they will smell the foods. And then when you give them from the foods they will throw away this vice of greed. That's what the hero did. He took these people, you know, this, the billionaires, you know, took Zuckerberg and, and, and whatever it is, all these guys. Dropping names. Yeah, dropping names, which are gods in their country. And they came here with the, the Memuna of the treasurer. They came from the Medina with the Memuna. 
and the, the people of the of the of the of the Medina they gave him they gave these their representative uh, 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 a license that whatever they do all the people in the Medina have to accept it. It's like their representatives, they're the ambassadors. If they any agreement they sign, whatever they accept, everybody else has to abide by. It. They can't. Uh, so this gave it to these people, and he took him to that road, and he took him all the way to the kitchen where these foods are. And first he took him against the wind. They smelled these foods, and they started begging him, they started begging him to give him for these unbelievable foods. You know, it's like they were salivating. And then. He took him, you know, the, the other way, with the wind, and he started screaming, there's such a stink over there. So again, he took him, you know, towards the wind, again, got this tremendous smell of the foods. So again, they, they begged him, should give him the food. Again, he took him with the wind started screaming, there's a great stink going on here. So the hero told the people, you see, there's nothing here that should stink. So you have to say that it is you who is stinking. There's nothing here that stinks. Then he gave some more of, them, of these foods and immediately when they ate those foods, they started throwing all their gold and all their silver. And each one dug himself a grave <laughs> and he buried himself from the shame. Because they realized the greatness of the stink of money. Because money stinks like toya, like feces. Since they tasted the foods, they marched, they tore their faces, they buried them, they couldn't lift their heads. Each one was more embarrassed than, than, than the next one. Because in that place, money is the biggest embarrassment there is. When somebody wants to embarrass his friend, he says, you have money. You're rich. Because money is big embarrassment. And anybody that has more money, is more embarrassed. That's why they buried themselves from embarrassment. And each one could not, you know, could not stand before his friend, Kal Muhammad, the Gibbon there. And anybody would find another coin, an extra coin, he would throw it away. He would throw it as far as possible. Then the Gibbon came to them and he took them out of there, these, these, these trenches that they buried themselves in. Says, come with me, you don't have to, you don't have to fear the, the hero, the giver anymore. It is me. So they asked the giver that he sh should give them from these foods, should give them to, to their land, to give to the people their land. And the vade, they will all, you know, be disgusted from, you know, from, from the money. They wanted Everybody in the Medina also, you know, to be, you know, to throw, to get out of this type of money. And he gave them these foods, to put the devil in. Immediately he gave them to them, everybody started throwing their, their, their gold and their silver. <laughs> they also buried themselves in embarrassment. And the more rich they were, the more embarrassed they were. And also, the small ones that were considered like animals, they were also embarrassed. Until now, they were small. Why? Because they had no money. Now, they just found the Dafka money. This, that's, that's the main bush. These foods, they have this gula, this propensity, that anybody who eats from them, you know, he, he, money disgusts him. Because he feels the stink, the stench of, of, of money, mamash, like feces, a tin of punish. So they all threw the idols of gold and silver. 
And then they sent the Baal Tfil over there, and he gave them chuvas and tikkunim, and purified them. And the king, you know, ruled, and all the oil came back to Kodesh Baruch Hu, and everybody was oisik, only in Torah, and Tfilo, and Tshuva, and Masim Toivim. Amen, Ken Yi Ratzon, Baruch Hashem, Lo'olam, Amen, Amen. There's some, you know, this, this, uh, there are a lot of different things that the, the, the Rebbe told us, a little, a little psukim from whatever it is, from what is being dealt with with this particular story. But the actual, you know, what is actually going on here? You know, it's Oilama, you know, Shvir, the Oilama Tikkun, and, 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 and the whole, it's just Pella, Pella of a story. Hashem Yazor, Bezat Hashem, tomorrow we'll start with the Kutel on that story.